Hi YouTube, for quite a while now I've really liked the idea of making a creature that is based on a burger. So here I've just taken a whole load of aluminium foil and squashed it into the very rough shape of a burger bun and a burger to go in the middle. This turns out to be one of the easiest and quickest builds that I've ever done. So if you're new to sculpting and you want to have a go at something, have a go at this. It's really, really straightforward to do. Next I did a very thin layer of a product called Milliput over all my aluminium shapes. So this gives me a more refined look to the burger. Once the Milliput has hardened, you can sand it down as well to refine it even more. You can see here I've made a cheese slice as well out of um, the Milliput. Um, the burger looks particularly good because you've got all the wrinkles showing through from the aluminium. That gives a nice texture for the um, beef burger. Then I've got another um, layer of cheese. You can see a tomato in there, slice of tomato. That's going to end up looking a bit like a tongue. And then I've done a thin layer on this burger bun as well. It's a bit knobbly, but I started kind of sanding it down to smooth it a little bit. Again, these stages are very quick to do. You're really just covering it with a thin layer and then letting the milliput dry. You can see here I've made a couple of eyeballs as well. This was the same sort of technique, I just made a couple of aluminium foil balls and then put the milliput over the top just as a thin layer, rolled it round in my hands and that's given me this nice spherical shape. But I'm actually thinking they're too big so I'm going to saw those in half to give me dome shapes instead, you'll see that in a bit. I also made a whole load of these little sesame seed shapes um, very tiny, basically just like rolling a ball and then kind of pinching the end to make it slightly more pointed. Yeah, if you haven't used Milliput before, it's a two-part putty. You mix the two parts together and it sets rock hard in about four hours. So I used super glue to stick the eyes on and also all of the little sesame seeds. So any shines that you're seeing is actually a layer of the super glue. That doesn't matter though because that will all be covered up when I come to paint this. You can see I'm really happy with the overall texture that the sesame seeds gives um, and I'm really looking forward at this stage to starting to paint it. Incidentally, the eyeballs that I had before that were spherical, I ended up cutting in half into dome shapes just using one of these little Tamiya craft saws. These little craft saws are so useful so I thoroughly recommend getting one if you haven't got one already. Next I found a whole load of teeth that I'd made ages ago for another creature that I've made. Um, it's really useful whenever you're making a creature with lots of teeth, always make yourself a whole load more. Um, I then used this little drill to make small holes and then I've positioned all the teeth and just glued them with flooring PVA glue. Flooring PVA is much stronger than normal PVA. Incidentally, if you don't want to make a whole load of teeth like this, you could just use something like cocktail sticks cut down. That would give a very similar effect. Notice I left a couple of gaps on the lower burger bun, um, or lower jaw if you like, and that's where I'm going to position this first layer of cheese. It'll just slot into the gaps like this. So at this stage I was really eager to get on and start painting him. This made obviously such a difference getting some paint on. So I've used yellow ochre for the main bun, I've used um, cadmium yellow for the cheese, uh, cadmium red, uh, with a bit of white added for the tomato. I've done a uh, green and red mixed together for the brown for the burger. And then I've just dry brushed a few lighter bits here and there. I've also added a bit of white to the yellow ochre for the sesame seeds. And his eyes are just plain white at the moment. I obviously need to do a lot more embellishments now, like this. So you can see here, I've added these hands, which I wanted to look like kind of tomato sauce splats kind of sticking out the side. Um, and I think I've kind of got that to work, which is really great. I've added some little red bits on the ends of his teeth as well. Some leaves of lettuce that I sculpted separately and just added them in. With the eyes, I've painted green irises, black pupils, and I've left little white highlights. I've also painted little tiny red veins on the eyes, which I think makes him look a lot creepier. And his eyebrows, which point upwards so they look angry, um, they are made to look like bits of uh, red pepper, which I think has worked really well as well. So altogether, he's really bright looking. I think he's going to stand out really nicely in amongst all my other monsters and weird creatures that I've made over the years. Um, so I'm really happy with him. And yeah, I, I think it's an easy build, 
So if you're looking to sculpt something, go for this. I actually made a pizza creature action figure a long time ago when I was at uni and I made a packet for him and I made a whole load of little weapons as well. So I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one so you can check it out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching this. I hope it's inspired some of you to go out and sculpt something similar. Check out my other videos if you get a chance. Um, there's loads of creatures and things that I've made from various movies that you will have uh, seen before. Some of them, some of them you might not. Some are a bit more obscure. But uh, hit subscribe if you want to see anything that I post up in the future. Thanks to Millipup for sponsoring this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.